Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the today's coding questions which were asked in the Accenture exam. So, these coding questions, two coding questions I will be discussing. Both of these were asked in today's Accenture exam in slot 2. So, as today only in the morning, I made a YouTube video wherein I have discussed the coding question which was asked in slot 1 of today's exam. Now, I am covering slot 2. So, slot 3 video also I will be posting very soon. So, make sure that you subscribe this channel and do hit that like and subscribe button because every like and subscribe will give us motivation for making more such videos. Okay, and guys, do join this Telegram group. I will give you the link of this Telegram group in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to join it because lot of people, lot of discussions regarding Accenture Infosys on campus exams for 2025 batch are going on here. So, don't miss that. Do join this Telegram group if you if you have any confusions okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button okay so guys the name of the question is string transformation so you are provided two strings s1 and s2 in s1 you can perform operations such as adding removing or swapping the letters each operation has a specific cost value associated with it as shown below if a letter is removed from s1 the cost is zero if a pair of letters are swapped in s1 the cost is 0. If a new letter is added to the end of S1, then the cost is 1. It means that if you, if there are two strings S1 and S2, you need to make S1 equivalent to S2. For that, three types of operations you can do. And for every operation, there is a cost associated with it. So only if you are inserting any element in S1, okay, if you are inserting any element, then only the cost is there. That is cost of 1. That is the number of elements you will be inserting that will be the cost okay now your task is to find and return an integer value representing the minimum cost required to transform s1 to s2 so we have s1 we need to do to s2 for that we need to remove some elements we need to add some elements we need to swap some elements so and for adding the elements we will be giving a particular cost also so we need to find the minimum cost that is possible okay so note is that the string S1 and S2 consist uppercase alphabets only. So only uppercase alphabets are present in S1 and S2. So now let's just quickly understand with the help of the example. So there is one string S1 that is given as ABD. S2 is given is written as AABCCAT. Now to convert this S1 into S2, C. S1 we need to convert into S2. How we can convert that? We can only convert that by adding the elements in S1. That is confirmed. And when we are adding the elements, we need to pay a cost of 1. So, uh, how many elements you need to add first? So, see. This A is there. This A is there. So, these are cancelled out. This B is there. This B is there. So, these are cancelled out. This D is there. This D is there. So, they are cancelled out. Okay. So now how many elements are there in S2 which are not there in S1? So this A, then these two C, then this A. So there are total four elements in S2 which are not present in S1. So therefore these four letters need to be added in S1 and therefore the cost of converting S1 to S2 will now become 4. And you can see 4 is the answer only. So 4 is the answer only. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. Now let's just see with the help of one more example. Our S1 is given as x y z s2 is given as a b c now we need to convert s1 to s2 so again we will be first finding the common elements so is x present in s2 so no x is not present so is y present in s2 no y is not present is z present in s2 no z is also not present so it means that there are three elements in s2 that are not present in s1 okay and there are some elements in S1 which are not present in S2. So first of all, we need to remove these three elements. What is the cost of removing these three elements? So these three elements removing cost is zero. Only inserting cost is there, deleting cost is not there. Now there are three elements in S2 which are not there in S1. So the cost will be three because three elements we are added and three elements we have removed. So zero plus three will become three as the output here. I hope this question is clear to you. Now this question might seem difficult to you when you are doing it. But, but once you will see the approach of the question, then, then the answer will appear very easy to you. Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. So guys, now let's just look at the approach now. Okay. So we had S1 was given to us A, B and C. S2 was given to us double A, then B, double C and then double A. Okay. Sorry. This was A, B, D and let's suppose S. Yeah, D was given. 
now what we will do what we will do we need to convert s1 to s2 and we need to find that how many extra characters in s2 are there which are not present in s1 then simply that is the answer again i am telling you the answer is extra character present in s2 that are not present in s1 as the answer final answer so what we will do we will make a frequency we will maintain a frequency of this s2 for that we will be using a hash map based approach so what is a hash map we will hash map is a key value pair okay key value pair is the hash map now we will store the frequency of s2 uh, strings for every character we will store the frequency here so first first a is coming so first first value a is coming we will increase the count to 1 second value a is coming key is already present we will increase the count to 2 next value b is present so b is coming first time then c is coming again c is coming first time then again c is coming so we will increase the c count to 2 then again a is coming so we will increase the a count to 3 then again a is coming so we will increase the uh, a count to 4 let me just remove this yeah and then again d is coming so we will increase the count to 1 okay so total 8 characters are here now what we will do based on this string now we have our frequency array or you can say frequency hash map for every character in the s2 string now what we'll do now we'll tra start traversing the s1 string okay now we'll start traversing the s1 string so here once we receive a character and if that is present in the hash map we will decrease the value of it again i'm telling you once we are traversing the s1 if we found that current character is present in the hash map so therefore then what we'll do we will decrement the count we will decrement the count of that value okay we will decrement the count of that value okay so now let's start by iterating over s1 so first a comes so is a present in the hash map yes a is present in the hash map so we will decrement the value of a to 3 okay then we are coming to b is b present in the hash map yes b is present in the hash map so we will decrement the value at 0 as 0 okay next i mean d is d present in the hash map yes d is present in the hash map so we will decrement the value of d that is 0 only okay now we have what we have done now we have subtracted s1 characters from s2 so it means that those characters which are present in s2 and not in s1 now are present in this particular hash map with this frequency so now what we'll do we'll simply add these values we will simply add these values we will do nothing we'll simply add these values so 3 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 5 so here the answer will be 5 only okay so a b d was there double a b c c double a d was here so it is not the same input as this okay here the input was double a and in the end it was a single a so therefore here the input is 5 and in the input that we saw earlier there was here there was single a so therefore for that the answer was 4 but for this input that i have taken the answer will be 5 only i hope this is clear to you but let's just see one more example okay let's just see one more example if we have what we have so x x y z we have a b c we have in s2 so again what we'll do we will make a hash map key value pair a is coming so a 1 b is coming b 1 c is coming c 1 now we will traversing s1 after this so x is present in the hash map no it is not present y is present in the hash map no it is not present z is present in the hash map no it is not present so this traversal of s1 is also done now once the traversal of x s1 is also done what we'll do we'll simply add these values and we'll give the answer so what is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 i hope this is clear to you now there will be a one more case that you will be thinking let's just suppose s1 is equivalent to double a c d c let's just suppose double a c s2 should be s2 is let's suppose single a and double c okay single a and double c so what we will do now again we will first traverse the hash map key value pair we are maintaining first s2 will be traversed a comes so a1 c comes c1 again c comes c becomes 2 okay traversing of s2 is done now traversing of s1 so a comes so yes a is present so we will decrement the value to 0 okay now next again a comes so next again a is coming so what we will do we will decrement this value to minus 1 so no that is not the case so we should not do this okay so if an element's value has already reached 0 if an element value is already reached 0 in this particular hash map okay just a second has already reached 0 and now the, the same element is appearing in s1 so we'll just ignore that element so we will do if mp dot count that is value present in the hash map and if it is present and the value okay and that value is greater than 0 then only we will do count minus minus 
we then only we will do count minus minus for this particular scenario so i hope now the solution is clear to you okay i have made it very simple for all of you to understand now let's just quickly move towards the hash map oh let's move towards the coding part and guys if you are finding finding this video informative till here please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this telegram group because lot of discussions regarding 2025 batch students are happening here the link of this a group you will find in the i button as well as in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code and only in extension you will only have to implement the function only nothing else so what i have done first of all we have made an unordered map where key will be of char type value will be of uh, integer type okay now we are first traversing as i have told you we are first traversing the s2 string and every character for every character we are encountering we are adding incrementing the count of that particular character by using this next is we are now traversing the s1 string for s1 string i have told you if we encounter a character first we will be checking that whether that character is present in the hash map or not and if it is present then the value of that character should be greater than 0 if both these values if both these conditions are satisfied then only we will move ahead and we will decrement the count of that particular character from the hash map now once this for loop is over what we'll do we will traverse over the hash map we will traverse over the hash map and we will uh, count all the values we will count all the values like we were doing here 1 plus 1 plus 1 like we were doing here so similarly in the code what we we'll do we will traverse over the hash map and we will uh, add all the values so count plus equivalent to m dot second okay so this is how we are traversing the hash map and in the end we are simply returning count from here in this particular from this function so i hope this is clear to you now let's just quickly run this uh, Test case A, B, C, and X, Y, Z are there, so answer should be three. Okay, uh, sorry, answer should be three. Yeah, this is the compile time error that I was getting. So answer should be three here, and we will see one, one or two more test cases. So yeah, here is the three. So if you will see A, A, B, B, C, D, E. So here, what should be the answer? Tell me in the description box. So it should be A, B, D, E. Four should be the answer here. So yeah, four is coming as the answer. And now, if there are some characters which are greater greater than in S one, then S two, then let's just see this case. A B C C and A A B B C D E. So in this case, the answer should be again four. Yeah, that is correct. So again, the answer will be four because one A is there, one B is there, one D is there, one E is there. That is extra. Okay. So I hope this particular question is clear to you. Again, I am telling you the all the direct questions does not repeat in Accenture. Your question might be similar to this, but but there might be a Work around for it. Okay, so there might be some enhancement, tweaking in this particular question. So first read the question, understand it, then only try to copy paste the answer. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the second question. That is also again on the very easy side. Okay. So now let's just move there. Okay. So guys, this question is: You are organizing a charity run where participants contribute a dollar for every numbered kilometer they complete. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total amount of money raised if a race if a race is n kilometer long. Let's just quickly move towards the uh, example. They are very easy. So there is a 10 kilometer race, and the output is 30. What is the output? The y 30 is the output. Return the sum of all even numbered kilometers till n they complete. Okay. What it means? It is simple. That uh, from 1 to 10, how many even numbered kilometers are there? So there are 2, 4, 6. Uh, sorry, six, eight, ten. Just add them. Okay, just add them, and you will get thirty. So you will be given a kilometer that is input as n, and you need to add all the even, even kilometers, even integers coming from one to n range. One to n, you will have to add all even integers. Okay, it's that simple. Let's just quickly move towards. I hope the approach approach is not required here. It's very simple. Just let's just move towards the coding part. So even sum. Int n number of kilometers count is zero. We will loop from i equal to i less than n, i plus plus. If the current element is the even number, we will simply add that element into our count variable, and in the end we are returning the count. Let us see with the help of an example. If our input is ten, just we are simply running it. The answer it should give us thirty. Answer it should give us thirty. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, thirty it should give now. Okay. So in Accenture only you have to implement this function. Okay. So again, I'm telling you, please hit the like button if you have not done it till now, and do join the Telegram group. The link you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And do hit that like button because lot of effort goes in making these coding videos. Okay? So here you can see yes, 30. Let's just give two as a input, and answer should be coming as two only because 
from 1 to 2 there is one even integer that is 2 so yeah answer is coming as 2 so i hope this question is also clear to you if you found these videos informative do hit that like button do join our telegram group and do comment down that yes sir you want more uh, you want more such videos because i know you are preparing for 2025 batch on campus hiring and some are preparing for 2024 off campus so all these things are going on so i will try to make more such videos okay so thank you for watching this video